high time you see yourself from another perspective. I pulled a few cards for everyone this morning. Mercury retrograde, that's why I'm stuttering. <laughs> and I want to talk about them. So starting off with the hanged man. The first thing that came to my mind is a memory. When I was like eight to 10 years old, I used to get these really, really bad headaches to the point where <laughs> I used to lay on the couch and lay upside down so that my head, like the blood would rush to my head like the hanged man. Because for some reason it helped with the headaches. And I have heard from many different spiritual teachers that headaches are a sign of spiritual ascension. So this is what I want to talk about. I'm using that as an example. Because I was a kid when that was happening. And at that time, I was having all of these dreams, all of these spiritual experiences. And I used to get these headaches all the time. And why I'm saying that is, is for you to think about... This is our next card, Seven of Pentacles. How far you've come, and not just how far you've come, it's like a dual message. It's how far you've come, but also just to think back for the sake of thinking back. Like, remember the stuff that you've been through. This could be the past seven years. I'm also seeing like 14 years. I'm seeing this this number seven. I'm seeing it 14. I'm seeing it 21. So multiply seven as many times as you need to multiply it to look back on the memories that Spirit is trying to show you with this hanged man today. And we are in all of these retrogrades, so I'm sure this is happening naturally. But I think sometimes what happens is when memories come up, we kind of just push them aside or push them down. So we're kind of like, why? It was a B right here as I'm saying this, abundance. Sometimes we don't understand our own abundance. It's like, imagine that you had a drawer full of like valuable valuables, like gold coins, gems, and you kind of just close the drawer because you're like, you're just, you're, you're, trying to push it away from you because it's it's hard to look at the truth we have the ace of swords in the reverse it's hard to look at the truth not because we don't think it's true or we don't think it's valuable it's like there's a lot of reasons for this we can feel like we have too much on our plate seven of pentacles can be kind of like just it's kind of an annoying energy to me. I'm not like a huge fan of the Seven of Pentacles. It's like you, it, it's retrograde energy. You know, we're in Mercury retrograde. It's like you're kind of rethinking things. He's thinking, should I continue growing these pentacles or should I do something else? And I feel like a lot of us, what we do when these memories come up is we just kind of push them away because this energy can be very annoying. It's like, especially if we're, you know, this is a Piscean energy, especially if we are kind of overthinkers to begin with we're like we don't want to go there like today's not the day to be overthinking the energy so so basically what i'm getting with these three cards we also have the um the temperance angel at the bottom of the deck here so i do believe that this is something that our all of our guides are showing us right now it's like they're calling us to remember is what this message is but specifically to remember who you are because the ace of swords is in the reverse here showing me that we are intentionally pushing away certain recognitions and remembrances that our angels and guides are trying to show us right now because knight of swords it's it's causing like racing thoughts five of swords is here as well there could also be like toxic things that that are coming up that we're remembering but the only reason why our angels and guides are bringing these things up to our remembrance is because they're trying to bring us into the next phase of victory for our lives and if we don't face this stuff often retrogrades bring up these memories but if we don't face it and we choose not to look at it because it's uncomfortable it's the same thing as pushing close that drawer full of valuables because we we don't want to look at it because it can be kind of an annoying energy 
to continue to rethink something and rethink something. And, and especially as spiritual people to begin with, we usually are the type who are doing shadow work. We are interested in spiritual and emotional development. We are people who are doing inner child healing and improving upon ourselves like in, in all different areas of our lives. So a lot of us are already doing that anyway. So I feel like sometimes when the retrogrades bring these things up, it's like we actually don't want to see the truth, even if it is a good thing, because, you know, we're just, a lot of us are kind of burned out on this spiritual development, to be honest with you. A lot of us are like, yeah, I'm like always on the pole though. And your angels are like, all right, but this is... This is a drawer full of valuables that we want you to look at because if you will look at it, it's going to be that six of wands. It's going to bring you to victory. It's going to bring you to new phases of victory in your lives. And what I started off with with that story of me when I was a child, I thought of that a couple times in the in the past few years where I was like, oh my God, I feel like that was actually a spiritual ascension many many years ago and I misinterpreted a lot of the things that happened to me when I think back on them in my life they were actually like spiritual advancements that I was experiencing but I, I was just not viewing them that way and I wasn't seeing the truth of who I really was and where spirit was bringing me and I feel like that's the same for a lot of us right now and that's why spirit is trying to reveal who we really are right now each and every one of us in our own stories like what you have to give is valuable like the spiritual experiences that you have undergone understood the ascensions that you've gone through the the hard things that you've experienced that have risen you to a higher plane like these are things to to recount these are things to think about the this is a drawer full of valuables that you can actually offer to the world to share to the world with the ace of swords the ace of swords is communication the ace of swords can be you posting online the ace of swords can be you writing a book the ace of swords can be you, you creating a course you doing something where it shares your voice even if it's just to a friend over coffee where you're talking about spiritual memories with them you know where they're like oh i'm, I'm new to this whole you know spiritual thing is can you share a thing or two and you're like yeah as a matter of fact i can so anyways guys i just wanted to check in with these cards really quick and just share you know what you you're more valuable than you give yourself credit for and it really is worth taking the time to think back and remember those memories and even like write them down because sometimes we just count our own experiences and think that well it's just like it's just like so and so's story or you know why why would i add my you know story to the mix there's so many there's so much of this content online yeah but they're not you you know, it's like people like different people for different reasons as well. You may attract a certain audience that other people don't attract just because of your personality type or because like the way that you see the world is different than other people. So it's like that other person that you're looking up to may not attract the same audience as you would. Like we need everybody is my point. So this is a broader thing. Like Spirit is trying to get all of us to come out of the woodwork and share the things that we've been shown, because these are precious things that we've been shown, and it really is worth taking a look at how far we've come and sharing it as well. Not just thinking about it for ourselves, but then thinking about it, kind of organizing it, and then sharing it in some capacity, even if that's just to, like, a friend or something. So much love. I love you guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.